Joanne, it's really lovely to see you today. Tell us a bit about who you are and what you do. So, uh, my name is Joanne Kennedy. I'm a person with a learning disability. I'm an eye champion for the North West and I work to see ability. So Joanne, what does your role as an eye care champion for seeability actually involve? Uh, so we go to talk to groups with learning disabilities about eye care and deliver training to some self advocacy groups about eye care so they can go out and deliver it in their area. But why is eye care so important to people with learning disabilities? We see the world around us, what we see every day, and then people learn to have 10 times more eye problems and six times out of 10 wear glasses. So Joanne, tell us about a group you've visited and some of the sorts of things they've told you. So uh, we d I went to a group in Preston, I can say Preston, so it's a, this, this girl, she's never been for eye test before, so she's never been, she was diabetic, so I had to tell her to, it's important, so we have to talk about why it's important for her to go and have a diabetic check. And that now she's been for a diabetic check and now she's wearing her glasses. So thanks to me talking to her about eye care, I make sure people, now I think she goes regular for her eye test. Do you feel proud, Joanne, that you can make a difference with your role? Yeah, I feel proud, yeah, because then I see somebody with a lens of two doing that. And what has happened to eye care services in lockdown? They stopped working, so they were only doing emergency appointments. So what is happening to eye care now? Are services fully back to normal or is it a very slow process? No, they're not. They are reopening, but they, what we'll do now is the, the client, the person will learn to ring up and make an appointment. So the, so the consultant will do a consultant on the phone. Then they'll ask them to make another appointment and they'll have to take a face mask because it's... And then the staff will, will be wearing face masks, uh, apron, gloves, shields over their faces. So things will feel a little bit different at the opticians at the moment um, for yeah. people with learning disabilities as well. That might be quite tricky to, to get the hang of but what can opticians do to make sure that people who have got learning disabilities feel a bit more comfortable in this sort of new world that we're all in now so they can make longer appointments for the person with a learning disability so they're opening more appointments we've got our fact sheets as well so they can fill them in online so they can't take you can't take paper in now the opticians should understand this is a person with learning disability how they communicate with them a little bit better is it about spending a little bit more time, do you think, Joanne? Do you think just taking that time out to explain the processes and what yeah. they're going to do and what happens yeah. next? Yeah, then they're, not, then they're not panicking. Personal learning is not going to panic in the shop. If you've got learning disabilities, Joanne, how different does it feel going into an optician's? You know, what, what, what would you be feeling perhaps inside? Would you be feeling perhaps a bit anxious or nervous? nervous and scared because you don't know if you've never been before it can put you off and there's so much help out there isn't there through seeability and people mm -hmm. listening to this it, it is easy to access some help isn't it whether it's from the fact sheet or the website or from a zoom meeting with you or your colleagues there's no need to sort of suffer alone with this is there no we're here to help people with learning disabilities to make sure they have their regular eye test. What advice can you offer people with learning disabilities about looking after their eyes and their sight? If they've not been for the eye test before, they could like ring up and say, they must go every two years for their eye test. If they're diabetic, they have to go every year for a regular check. I mean, make sure, and on our website, we have a list of opticians what are on our website, but they can go and have a look, see which one they would like to choose. Uh, if they've never been before, they could always ask a friend about which options they could go to. Do you find, Joanne, in, in your profession as an eye care champion that people tend to, I mean, I wear glasses and I'm really overdue an eye test. Do you feel it is something that we just tend to put off and we don't get yeah. round to? A lot of people put it off because it's, because they don't think it's to do with a health check, do they? Because they don't think it's 
problem with their eyes so they realise eyes further down, their eyes are starting to hurt so and they might not see properly, they might have different, they might get a cataract in their eye. So it needs, it needs checking doesn't it? You have to get on the phone or get online and book yourself an appointment and also get some sort of reassurance from an eye care champion at Seeability like you that it is going to be okay. It's going to be okay, isn't it, if you take the plunge and you go and have that test? Mm -hmm. What should people who already wear glasses be doing next? So if, if, the, if, the, if, the, if the broken or if a dog's tutor, so so, they can always go and get them rechecked. So if they don't fit right, make book an appointment with the optician. So maintenance is just as important as getting that eye test in the first place, isn't it? Joanne, can you leave us with three top tips about what to do? So go on and get your regular eye test. Uh, go on our website and look at our easy read and make sure your glasses fit well and make sure you clean them. That's really good. Well, well done. You're obviously doing a very good job and, and you've inspired me. I'm going to go and get my eyes tested now because I'm long overdue. So, Joanne, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today with your hat on as Seeability Eye Care Champion. And uh, with advice like that out there, there really is no excuses but to get out there, look after your eyes and get them tested. <laughs>